Well, what a blessed day to come together and, and just share uh, some word time on FaceTime and have a little bit of a, a sweet time with the Lord. Uh, God, it's uh, so good. I was on the phone today with a dear pastor friend with mine just sharing incredible miracle uh, of his life over the last couple, two or three weeks health-wise and how God really just uh, did a incredible thing in him and uh, I just praise the Lord for who he is uh, listening to different people at First Bible and their testimony of what God is doing and uh, what God has done and answering prayer through this time is wonderful I know we can't get together uh, and give each other big hugs but we can definitely get together in the Spirit of God like we've been doing what a glorious Resurrection Sunday celebration we had and I just thank the Lord again and again for the resurrection of Jesus Christ and how we get the chance to be part of his wonderful grace gift in Jesus every time we get together and celebrate on the first day of the week so this is a just a midweek get together with you and uh, and the, the sun is out and the, the blue skies the beautiful budding trees behind me and uh, just the signs of spring and uh, a reminder again that God, God makes all things new I'm reminded again from our message on Sunday about old Thomas I guess each of us have been like Thomas in some form or faction at one time and he was a disciple a fossil of the Lord Jesus Christ he followed him for three plus years and on resurrection day he had some wonderment, some doubts. He wanted to have some questions answered. He wanted to know that Jesus Christ truly was risen and remove all doubts. And of course, he had a need deep in heart for proof. And so in our message, I, I used uh, four different things to talk about how Thomas in that moment, when he said, my Lord, my God, he experienced personal grace he exhibited faith and on the other side he experienced personal grace from Jesus Christ the King of Kings the Lord of Lords and when he said my Lord my God just like each one of us the day that we accepted Christ the moment that we did say Lord Jesus Christ I realize that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in thine heart that God has raised you Jesus from the dead thou shalt have eternal life thank you Lord God for sending your son the result for Thomas was that he had a new fresh relationship with Christ of course Pentecost had to come for the Holy Spirit to come like in us as we when we're saved we're sealed and we receive the Holy Spirit of God as salvation but for for Thomas in this moment it was a a mark of a new relationship with Jesus my Lord my God, deity. He's recognizing Jesus, the risen Savior. And it reminded me, as I did lay out in those last few minutes in our message, that Jesus will go to the broadest breadth, the broadest breadth to replace doubt with certainty. He will go to the longest length to change hopelessness to joy. He will go, Jesus, to the deepest depth to answer questions for proof and Jesus will go to the highest height to affirm our faith when we speak it to affirm faith that is spoken guess what believers in Christ guess what brothers and sisters in the Lord family of God first Bible Baptist Church we we can know even more so that love of Christ we can as Paul said in Ephesians 3, and that's where God really laid on my heart to bring out that breadth, length, depth, and height in our, our little lesson on Sunday was to say, you know what? In Paul's passage as he prayed for the church at Ephesus and prayed for the believers, he said that I pray that God would grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might by his spirit of the inner man that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith that ye, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth, 
and length and depth and height and to know the love of Christ which passeth knowledge that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God. Personal grace is experienced on the other side of faith and it opens up our ability to comprehend, to apprehend that love that God has given us through Jesus Christ. That word comprehend has the same root as apprehend and they both mean in root to grasp, to lay hold on. So in this week, these days following our Resurrection Sunday celebration, celebrating Easter Sunday, my thought for you in this middle of the week is just as Thomas found out and you and I found out as believers in Jesus who saved us and put us into the body of Christ, how far Jesus will go. Maybe you and I need to start doing our part to go toward him by faith, to experience that personal grace afresh each day, and that we would then comprehend, apprehend that incredible love he has for us. You know what? I believe that me, us, believers, the body of Christ miss out so much on the beautiful grace of God, the beautiful, beautiful love and the depth and the length and the, and the breadth and the height of that love because we hold back our faith. Lord God, stretch our faith. Lord God, bump us and push us. But believers, it must be our move. So let's move by faith upon what Jesus Christ has done and be even more so like Thomas was in that instantaneous moment where he experienced personal grace from Jesus and say, my Lord, my God, what would thou have me to do? Let's then find out, draw upon, grasp, lay hold on that incredible love that the Lord Jesus Christ has for us each and every day in the body of Christ, in the church of God, as believers and followers of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I love you all, and we continue to praise him and thank him and honor our Lord, our God.